the house project of Ludi and Facey, the man that was living in the goat house. This is Shan's Zenzen other half. This video was recorded a week ago, previously. She's currently going through some medical issues. She will be off for a while and she will update you as soon as possible. Thank you for your prayers, knowingly and unknowingly. Uh, until such time, the work with Mr. Ludian Face's house continues and is in good progress. Shan would like to thank Miss Bev Productions for her continuous support to her program and specifically Mr. Ludian Face's project. She also asks that her subscribers and well wishers please subscribe to Miss Bev Productions. Thank you. She also would like to thank Tyler and Sonia from their YouTube channel fire and iry they're all the way in hawaii she also would like you to subscribe to their channel and thanks so much for the support to mr ludian faces project she thanks an anonymous donor from toronto canada thank you to miss yvonne from new york she thanks sophia from georgia an anonymous donor from florida she also thanks an anonymous donor from the uk she would like to thank miss claudette from new york who when donations ceased to come in for Mr. Ludian Faces project, she continuously supported as to why the project is where it's at right now. She also would like to say thank you to all the donors who continuously view Shenzhen Zen Jamaican Vibe as a viable means of helping the society. She greatly appreciates you. She greatly thank you. She would like to make mention all the donations that were spoke about earlier was received after the last video was posted to real help in hands a crowdfunding platform that she has been using for a while now she would like to say thank you to them uh, specifically with real help in hands you can donate to her program from anywhere in the world the middle east europe canada the united states etc etc it's simple and easy. Once you go on the website, you'll see a button that guides you to directly donate to the program. The link will also be pinned in the comment section of this video. Well guys, you know Shan does it best, but thank you for making it. Shan Zen Zen, Jamaican vibes. Inspiring, motivating, showcasing Jamaican talents and giving back to her Jamaican people. Mr. Fiesi has cleaned up his yard space as you can see. The place is clean and he told me he was going to farm some things over there. So he has cleaned it up because the seeds that he got from overseas they are not they're not working good with our soil. So um he said if he can get some local seeds then he will do good with that. Any type of seed string beans he said he would even plant some callaloo so yes yes and as you can see this little section up here that we said would have used the ply to fill out because we ran out of blocks as you can see Kirk did that very well but when we dress up the front and you know and paint it up everything is just going to fall in one nice 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 and and um brother kirk is going to build a nice little step for him to step up what? and mr Louis put all his flowers on his veranda already as you can see you will have a little chair here <laughs> oh my goodness yes yeah, so um this side of the the house as you can see brother kirk one finish it and he dress up the the window we'll be putting tomorrow because we got the windows this window gonna be put on um, put in tomorrow and he's going to oh yes you can see that back section as well he dress up uh, Yes, yes, yes. Now we secure his drums inside. <laughs> okay. 
so we actually had to buy five additional bags of cement because we only had two left so um that should carry kirk should carry him far we just want to ensure that inside and the underneath the veranda and the, especially the front is dressed up and then you know we can get uh, we can get the other things out the way right here now this was supposed to be the doorway to his bathroom we weren't going to add a little section right here and i was explaining that that can come after because the original the person who did the house started the house originally he he did it too small so um what we're going to do for now we're going to we're going to put a, a, a zinc here and back up this doorway right and then we're gonna put on the back door and the front door and then um you know further on we can just get like two sheets of ply to partition this section which would be his room and then he could use and then this now would be his little kitchenette it's a little kitchenette right yes so that's where we're at with mr lewis project mr lewis carrying flowers then he flowers them want to wash oh my <laughs> he can't wait he can't wait to move in guys i i actually hear that he sleeps here sometimes so i really want to get it closed up so he can be safe right yes 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 um so i know you'd have seen in a video i did before i spoke about a, a new a rollout program that's coming on board and I spoke of a huge charity organization that reached out to me and Mr. Facey is going blind so he will be able to benefit from this program as well so um, I was telling you guys before that he has a bed but the mattress is not good but someone had donated a mattress to my program so I have a mattress for him and he has his bed he will need a little probably a little chest of drawer something like that to keep his clothes and you know um he has some pots it's some old pot but if we can get in two pots he definitely needs some curtains one two three curtains and um yeah i had gotten sheets for him i had gotten sheets and shower curtain for the, his bathroom bathroom is not yet ready but we got shower curtain and she's fine so i i, I want to show you guys something too so at the top here where you can see is visible naked um we're going to put ply boards there too we're gonna back it around with some plies so all of the ear holes and all of the places that seem like it would be accessible to outsiders we're going to back it around as i said we ran out of locks and we're running out of materials too um i know it's not good for him to sleep underneath the zinc without solitex but we still want to move him in so we're not going to wait on the solitex let's see what we can do for him after he moves in all right getting him inside is actually my priority right now it's my main objective right now so that's it